All right, welcome back to Wisconsin. We're no longer in Kentucky anymore. So on that note, I imagine some people are expecting a video from the Louisville Farm Show for me. I didn't even take my camera down with me. Other than the live stream I did on the way down, um, I just went down to enjoy the show. Uh, thanks to everyone that stopped and said hi to me that were probably unsure if it was me. Most of the people that walked up to me uh, not everybody. I had some guys that, hey, I watch you on YouTube, and I had some people that walked up to me and said, hey, is your name Travis? Uh, yeah, maybe. But yeah, thanks to everybody that came up and said hi. I was actually surprised as many people stopped and said hi as they did. Um, I didn't make it, I didn't announce that I was going down to the show. It was actually a last minute thing. I decided it the day before we left or the day before we went down and I was actually only at the show so the window that you could have really met me at the show was pretty narrow I was down there on Friday from 1 30 till till 6 I think is when the show closed and then I went to the tractor pull afterwards but um, there's a lot down there I grabbed a lot of brochures and contact information from a few of the oh excuse me a few of the booths that I really wasn't planning on even finding as much information as I did, but there's just so much down there that, well, you can find that I didn't know I need this, but I need it. <laughs> so I probably brought home at least a dozen cards and everything from um, acid products for bales, or for making hay this summer. Uh, I got a Harvest Tech acid applicator, but that's just the applicator. There's a few different products that I could use. And the one that I saw that kind of stuck out, I got to do some pricing on it, uh, is a product that actually is, it's a gas uh, more than it is an acid. So it actually turns into a gas and expands through the material, the hay, the bale. And that, I thought that was kind of unique, but I got to do some more research on it. I haven't had a chance to sit down and do that yet. So. Just got done plowing snow. Speaking of things that I didn't know I needed that I needed uh, is actually this. This is the focal point of this video. Uh, a little while back, we were trying to haul cows. We managed to do it with the truck and trailer, which has always been a battle for most of my life, just for where we have to get at around these farms. And finally, Ryan and I had had enough where we actually had to haul a couple loads out from my place and we managed to get the one big load hauled out. But it was a product of lining up the trailer just right as we were backing up in and then still using the skid steer to line up the trailer. Uh, because if I would have pulled back ahead and realigned, uh, we, we wouldn't have gotten those cows hauled out when we did. So I went up to the local welding shop and I talked to him about one of these. Now, I wasn't really interested in the bale spear, spear parts, spear part of it, um, but he talked me into it. This was actually already prefabbed together. All he had to do was add the extension for the hitch for the trailers, which he did weld on very, very nice actually. It's, it's built really heavy. It's not like it's any really worried it's not like i'm really worried about it falling apart on me because that was a, a very big selling point on it um, i asked him numerous times as far as is it going to be built heavy enough that i can go up and down the highway with it fully loaded and i know the pin is not well it's not even holding anything at the moment but um, the pin's got to be bigger it's just that's the first thing i found and uh, ryan actually wanted to back it up or i wanted ryan to back it up in the machine shed ryan wanted to look at the trailer so it was just kind of a last minute panic kind of a thing. Uh, but the reason that he talked me into buying this one as opposed to just making me a new one, that was 225 bucks from the local welding shop. Uh, what sold me on it was the fact that it's got a dual purpose. Uh, first and foremost, the reason I bought it was so I could pull the trailers with it, the stock trailer, the flatbed trailer. Uh, this one for hauling around bales, hauling hay out of the fields with the tractor as opposed to trying to use the truck. Uh, some of the fields we have, and more so the fields that we're going to have going into this year, um, we've used the truck 
in the past to haul the hay out of the field. Uh, but the problem is, uh, depending on ground conditions, uh, it can get kind of dicey using the truck. Where if you had the tractor on the front end where you got the weight and the tires, uh, I'm, not, I'm not worried about pulling the trailer up out of those fields at all with, with the tractor. And worse comes to worse, you can drop the trailer off quick and then back the truck under it and you're good to go. So the reason he sold me on the hay part of it is because I have that bale carrier outside at the moment and we have the other bale carrier, bale spear, a bale mover where the tines actually slide underneath the bale and that works for loading that, that wagon. I do it a lot. I actually with that six hour video where I destroyed that mover. I didn't destroy it, it's just got to cut the arm off, put a new one on. And by doing that, that's part of the problem as to why it was getting bent is because if you didn't have the arms positioned just right and you caught them on the bale carrier, you would bend them down and the tractor didn't give and the bale carrier didn't give. So something had to, had to bend and it was the bale mover. So the way this one's set up is that you actually stab into the bale and you don't have anything underneath to catch on the bale mover or the bale carrier. And I'm hoping that, I haven't tried it yet, I'm hoping that I can at least load the six bales up and at the very least hook it back onto the tractor and go up and down the highway without having to take the bale mover off. Uh, this thing is not super heavy where I can't pick it up and throw it around. So if I had to, I could throw it up on top of the bales on top of the mover and that works just fine. But it's one of those tools where I really only want to go buy it for one reason. And that reason was so I could haul cattle between the farms without having to worry of whether or not I can get in and out with the truck. And this opened up the doors to, well, now we have two potential ways to haul hay uh, where we can actually get in, you can turn and get in places better with a tractor pulling a stock tr or a gooseneck flatbed to haul hay than you can with the truck and the trailer. So it actually saves me a little bit of money going forward because I was looking at buying a, uh, as a JB manufacturing, um, eight bale capacity dolly wagon, bale cart wagon. Um, it was going to be just under $5,000, right around 45, 4,800, somewhere in there. And having the ability to pull the flatbed with the tractor and being able to use the 46, the 4020, whatever else. We can have two people hauling, one person loading. Uh, we can still pull out 16 plus bales at a time as opposed to just doing eight bales at a time or eight bales plus the one on the skid steer. So I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to use this probably on and off forever. As long as we don't tear it apart, which he uh, um, was confident enough to tell me that he's made enough of them because he's been doing the, well, he's been, that welding shop's been there back as far as I can remember. And he told me that he's made several of these over the years and he's never had any issues with them. So it's not like we have any intentions of really abusing it or anything, but just having the versatility of being able to hook a tractor up to our stock trailers now, I think is gonna be uh, really handy going forward. So that's what we're gonna find out because that's part of the reason why it's up here. Ryan and I are gonna go haul a couple loads of hay tomorrow, uh, simply as we're gonna take the flatbed down with the 76, we're gonna take the dolly wagon down with the pickup because we're just hauling from a different farm but then we got to come back and get the skid steer on the bumper hitch trailer, trying to get me blinded by the light there. And um, pull them back up here. I'll probably just use the tractor. I'll just go back and get the second load. I think the tractor coming up out of there. Uh, the road is actually kind of steep and it really does work the trucks. Uh, why don't I use Ryan's truck? Why don't I use dad's truck? Uh, those trucks aren't mine. And to be honest with you, I've pulled hay out of there using the, the blue truck before. 
and it does work that truck over really well. It is only a gas. And I'm fine using the tractor and the trailers. So, yeah. So, actually it's probably a little bit safer to a certain degree anyway. All right, that's all I have for tonight. I gotta actually go home and thaw out my, my toes. I'm not used to this cold weather anymore. Go down to Louisville for a couple days and you get in the mild weather and no snow and then you really, really get depressed driving back home and seeing all the snow that's, that's laying on the ground yet. So spring is on its way, but it can't get here soon enough. So all right guys, talk to you later. Take care, take it easy, keep in touch.